Generally a detailed plan is provided nominating the heights of the lipid curb around features like the cul-de-sac and the curb returns. And if we have a look on page 37 of our manual you'll be able to see that such a plan has been provided. This shows the tangent points, the heights at the tangent points around the cul-de-sac head and then equal distance between each tangent point another height. So we're going to replicate this inside of 12D. So what we'll do inside of 12D will be to construct the lip of curb here all the way around. We'll then segment it with four parts at the start, eight parts around the cul-de-sac head and another four parts at the end. We'll then add the heights and then we'll parallel it to give the set out string. The first thing we'll do will be to turn off all of our models except for the curb lip and we're going to duplicate this string. The reason we duplicate the string is so that we can keep the original model intact so that if we need to revert back to the original data we can easily. The easiest way to do this is to go to strings, strings edit, duplicate, we'll just give it a new model and we'll call it curb lip all in uppercase. We'll give it a new color, say magenta, and we'll hit start and pick and accept the string. We can now finish on this panel, turn off the DWG lip and turn on curb lip. We now need to segment our string. To make it a little bit easier we'll just toggle on the vertices so we can see where our tangent points are. We have an option up here in our edits toolbar called segment string and the first one we want to divide by four parts so we enter four then we hit pick and accept and then hit process. The second one will be eight parts so pick, pick and accept, process and the last one we're back to four parts again. Pick and accept and process. We can then finish on that. We now need to add our heights to this curved lip string and the easiest way to do that is to go into the CAD vertex and come out to the second last option edit height. Before we do this it's a good idea to toggle on your Z values so that as we type them in we can see them on the screen. You'll notice that at the moment nothing is shown and that's because we have no heights. So we're just going to pull the heights from the plan view that we had a look at before which is on page 37. We just pick on our first point and accept it and we're going to enter a height of 34.047. Enter. We go to the second one. 34.061 enter. Once you finish typing in all the heights a very simple check you can do is to profile it in the long section view. So if I just reset our view and profile this string and zoom in you'll notice we have a bit of a kick in the profile and if we have a look where our cursor is in plan view number one it corresponds to this point here at 34.205 if I have a look at the data, I notice that I've typed that incorrectly. So I can just edit that point by going back into my heights edit, picking on the point, accepting it, and typing in 105 as the correct height, and clicking enter. You notice as soon as we update that, the profile updates, and you can see that looks much better. We're now going to parallel this string so that we have an offset, so that we have a set out string. And the back of curve is going to be offset by 0.5 of a meter. And so this, so the lip will be parallel by 1.1 meters and it'll also go up 0.11 uh, meters. This is to take into consideration the height difference between the lipper curve and the backer curve. So to set this up, we're going to get rid of this name here. We're going to change the model name from whatever it is to curb BK offset 500. We'll pick a color. 
it's going we'll change the color to red we'll leave our line style as one and our weight we'll just remove that to do the parallel we're going to use the option string parallel down in the bottom left hand side it says pick the string to parallel full or partial we hit P for partial because we only want to do a partial parallel we then pick the string with direction and click enter it asks for our start point which will be this tangent point here and our end point which will be this tangent point over here make sure you actually pick the point our distance offset will be minus 1.1 because it's going out to the left enter and our height will be 0 0.11 enter if we zoom in now we can see that our heights are now 110 mil higher at the back of curve the offset string for the back of curve and if we measure our distance you can see all the way around we're 1.1 meters offset once again we'll just create our set out points for this offset string and we do that the same way we did previously with the alignment string in that we go to create set out point numbers go back into the options tab and we'll change our color from red to magenta and we'll change our set out model from set out roads to set out curve everything else can remain the same if we then go to the create points tab click the string to label we pick on the offset string and you'll notice that the start number is number 16 so it's remembered that from the last set of points that we created and we can just click label if we now turn off our curb lip and toggle off our heights we can see that our points are now created we can now create a set out table for these points if we require so we can go to the tabulation tab we're going to set out a string and the string is not actually the offset string it's actually the string containing the points so we select the set out string and we have to keep picking until the points highlight and then we hit accept the location we can just pick the top left hand corner of the table over here somewhere give it a heading we we'll call it set out points we're going to put it into a model called txt table curb our textile data once again we'll use the contour label 1 is to 500 and we can click on process and place text we'll just toggle off our vertices make it a little bit easier to see if we needed to move the, our table around we can click on move table we can then just pick on the table and move it to wherever we require if we're already outside of this panel we do have an option up here called multi string translate and we can click on name and pick on any point or string inside the table and then we can move it to our required location